Hey student athletes, before we get on our bike, whether it's for a ride or a practice, we always wanna make sure that we're doing a regular bike safety check. It should become part of your regular routine. We have what we call the A, B, C, D, and E's when it comes to bike safety checks. A is for air, so we're thinking about air pressure in the tires. Squeeze your tires and make sure that there's adequate air pressure. What we wanna be thinking about at the very least is making sure that our tires are not rock hard because at that point they're not gonna be providing any suspension and they're gonna be bouncing on the trail. And we wanna make sure that they're not too soft where we might have to worry about hitting an object really hard and possibly denting the rim or getting a pinch flat if we have tubes. So A is for air pressure. B is for brakes. We use both brakes. We wanna make sure that they're working properly. So pull and hold each brake lever and make sure that they're not coming too close to the handlebars to the point where they may not work properly and that they're consistent, meaning that each time you pull them, they move about the same amount each time. Also, thinking about pulling each brake lever and just push the bike forward. As I grab the rear brake and push the bike forward, the rear tire drags and skids. As I am pullish, pulling the front brake lever, the bike should stand up on its front tire as I push the handlebars forward. There's a lot more that goes into brakes, but again, we're just thinking about this bike safety check before we go for a ride or attend practice. Next is C is for chain. What we're thinking about making sure that the chain links are moving freely. And we're also thinking about shifting and derailers, what we'll get into next. And D is for derailers. So think about shifting gears a little bit, making sure that the bike is shifting consistently and properly. And one way that you can do that while you are just standing here with your bike is to take your bike, hold it with a saddle over the back of your neck, and then pedal and shift gears. Each time you hear a click with the shifter, the chain should move to the next cog, either up or down, depending on how you're shifting. So that's how we check our derailers. And then lastly is E. E is for everything else. And that can be a lot of stuff. Some things that I would be thinking about is wheel attachment. Checking the quick release skewers and through axles if you have a lever on them, or thinking about grabbing a tool like a little multi-tool and checking them if they are bolt on through axles. And then another great way to check for everything else is what I call the drop test. And if I just pick up the handlebars and pick the bike up a little bit and drop it, I can listen and listen for things that may be unusual. What you hear almost immediately are actually the cables that are hitting each other. So I might repeat that again while holding the cables and just listen for anything that's rattling, a small pinging or something like that, something that's unusual. At that point, we can look around and check for things. We can also do the same thing at the rear of the bike by picking up the seat and dropping the back of the bike. This would allow you to check for other nuts and bolts, suspension linkage, tightness of the rear wheel and the frame, and other stuff that might be problematic. So that's very quickly our A, B, C, D, and E bike safety check. So make sure you're doing that before each ride and every practice, and things will go a lot smoother from that point on. Thanks for watching. Now we'll continue with the helmet safety check.